I'd like to uh, explain this morning's results and at the same time explain how I use the scope and what you can see and what it's called. What it's called. All right, this is my digital multimeter. I have uh, 827 millivolts today. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's showing me to be sure that that one's connected and that one's connected. And uh, here we are. And this is, um, this. what you see up here is 0.2 microseconds. That's the resolution on the screen. It has to do with the resolution of the screen itself, not these markers. These markers have to do with with these two numbers. Uh, which are the same, uh, represented differently, but they are the same number. These are what's in between here. So this is 2.38 megahertz between here and here. So there's the time there. Okay. This one is 0.5 microseconds. And now, point, uh, 1 microsecond. 2 microseconds, 5 microseconds, 10 microseconds, 20 microseconds. And now if you notice sometimes this is this is the millivolts that are showing up uh, that the screen that the scope can see. And, and that has to do with resolution. Well, I don't know, but it has to do with the resolution. What it can see. All right, so we're at 20 milli uh, microseconds. 50 microseconds, 0.1 milliseconds, 0.2 milliseconds. We're getting farther and farther away from the screen, from the from the wave. 0.5 milliseconds. See how we've got 48.8. The, the scope can see more because we're farther away. One whole millisecond two whole milliseconds, five milliseconds, I think this is five milliseconds per division. This is pretty much the big wave. 